Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We are back with another unboxing video. Uh, this one's coming from Lightning Source, so this is a print on demand. It took me a while to figure out which one what I had ordered um, because I hadn't specifically remembered ordering a print on demand uh, anytime recently. And then, I, then it hit me. And let's see if I'm right. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, hold on. Here is the receipt. All right. Yes. All right. As soon as this came out, I had to get it because the first one was so good. This is Beit Al Azif, a magazine for Cthulhu Mythos. Uh, oh, for Cthulhu Mythos role playing games. This is issue number two. Which just came out, print on demand and uh, PDF from Drive Through RPG. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's it say? A magazine dedicated to the cosmic horror of Cthulhu role-playing games. Three new adventures ranging from Age of Enlightenment, France. Oh, that's cool. To Victorian England to 1920s Germany. Reviews, interviews, advice, history, comics, and more. So let's take a quick peek. Let's take a quick smell. Doesn't really have a smell at all. I'm sure that'll change over time. Um, I got the, the first issue of this and really, really enjoyed it. Houses of the Unholy. I think that's probably the intro. Sacrifices. Oh, these are letters. Nice. They're printing some letters up. Very cool. Hey, uh, Beta Al Z, if you could throw my, my YouTube channel in there. <laughs> Cthulhu in 2018, a retrospective. So this is... I think this is the... Uh, wait, hold on. Highlight number one. Delta Green, Fall of Delta Green. Okay. Number two, Chaosium's new edition of Masks of Nyarlat Hotep, Pilgrim's Yellow King RPG. Uh, other Chaosium Call of Thule releases for 2018. This is nice. This has all of the releases. Beit Al Azif is in there. Very cool. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that has come out related to Call of Thule. Well, related to Cthulhu. Who Needs Lovecraft Country? Why the Weimar Republic is the best setting for the Cthulhu games. Well, this actually ties into the, the um, Berlin book that just came out recently. False Friends, a 1920s scenario. Um, False Friends is a classic. Okay, it's for Call of Cthulhu and Gumshoe, it looks like. Uh, they've got the Gumshoe stuff in red. Oh, whoa. Yeesh. Okay, neat. I like the art, actually. The Sassoon Files. Um, oh, that's an ad. Uh, Die, uh, Die Gesellschaft. An interview with Cthulhu Ruf. Uh, I believe this Cthulhu Ruf is German. Yeah. Is the German magazine. Very cool. Vintage RBT RPG. Ma oh, the original Masks. Well, okay. A lot, all the stuff about Masks. Very cool. Sites of Antiquity. Temple of Milkart at Marat. Knighted, 19th century scenario. Very cool. This is also, looks like it's uh, statted out for Call of Cthulhu and Trail of Cthulhu. Oh, what the plans? What is this? Hold on. Hmm, not sure. The tension track, that's interesting. Paintings and photographs, ah, nice. Descent cards, Ellie's Journal, this is long. Adapting a scenario. So this is Our Ladies of Sorrow. What are they going to adapt this to? Um, Our Ladies of Sorrow was excellent. I got it a long time ago and read it. And really, really enjoyed it. Reworking. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Not sure what that one is about exactly. But it looks like it's an adaptation of Our Ladies of Sorrow to either other game systems or other time periods, maybe. Not sure. Beast of Gev uh, Gevaden. 1760s scenario, very cool. Again, this is going to be for Call of Cthulhu and Gumshoe. Nice, you never see this era, it seems like. Fracking Adventures, an interview with Lynn Hardy. Okay, author. It is not dead, which can eternal lie. Game review, Call of Cthulhu. Huh, interesting. I'm not sure what that's about. Some commentary. Here are the comics. Ooh. And here's our contributors. Very nice. Very nice heavy book. How many pages are we talking here? Uh, I don't see. There we go. 96, 98, 100, 102, 
104 pages. 104 pages from uh, issue two, Beit Al Aziz. Probably mispronouncing it. Anyway, so there you have it. There's issue two. I'm looking forward to reading it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next time.